Great, because I have a lot. I have a lot of stuff in there. All right, let me take a look. What is this? What kind of luggage is... This is plastic, so how do you expect me to get up to this room in one piece? Oh, don't worry. There's just cars in there. Lots of cars. And today, that's what we're going to be discovering, you guys. Hello, welcome back to any guy. Today, we're being car guy again, except since I saw the last time I made a Hot Wheels vehicle uh, review thing that I have, it gained a decent amount of views. I decided to do another one because clearly you guys like it a lot. So this right here, I'm sure some people have seen this before with my cam, my uh, crappy camera service here. But this right here, the challenge accepted 100 car case is specifically for Hot Wheels cars. So you can store them. So I got this because, you know, I said, you know, obviously, why not? This is a cool thing a kid would want, which is an easy marketing opportunity for him. Because who wouldn't want... A suitcase with actual wheels, you can just do this with. Yeah, what little kid doesn't want to do that? You know? Like, roll up to school with this thing and see how, what people say. Probably, why do you have that and why would you bring it here? Because I can. Anyway, so, without further ado, let's begin. So... To start it off, you obviously got the handle, and you can hear there's a lot of things in there, and it can store over 100 164 scale vehicles, which, yeah, you know, over 100 is a lot, so I remember that I had a lot in the initial, I'm going to hope the strap held it back. Now, it's even going to be a surprise for me. Because I haven't seen this in a while. And I have a lot of random stuff in here. So initially you're probably like. Jeez that is a lot. Of, what What are, the, are these all. You'd think just by looking at some of these. Oh wait a minute. This is you know dino related whatever. Yeah I have a lot of that. This is where most of my Jurassic Park and world and stuff. Cars go because I don't have room. And then I obviously have another storage over here. Which is nice that they have it locked down. So that you know. When you first open it it's not like. I'll pop out and I gotta. Oh, there's a little latch right there that you just have to do that. And you got more. Now, there's not that many over here because I didn't really feel like trying to fit more over here. I mean, I could, but I didn't really feel like it. So, we're gonna start out with the smaller side. So, over here, got a little Jurassic World Jeep, a little Mercedes G Wagon here. Pretty cool. I remember when they first started coming out with the, these kind of cars that I was all over that. And then over here, right here, we have, it looks like, yeah, a 90s Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. This is definitely like a 98, 99. And right below it, we have a Volvo, Rally Volvo. One of my friends actually drives these, and I was like, yeah, why not? Now this is older, so I'm pretty sure this is one of my dad's, because my dad gave me part of his collection, so, you know. And here we have a Honda Civic Type R, which I absolutely love Honda Civic Type R's. I think they're really dope and everything. So, yeah, have that. Have a little, uh, I actually don't know what this is. Give me a sec, I gotta look at this. Oh, it's a... 1974 Escort RS 1600. A little Rally Escort. And then right under it, we have a muscle car. This looks like a Nissan, I think, right? I'm going to say... No? Okay. The 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 front, like, little mirrors there kind of make it look like a Nissan or a Datsun. That's and we got dots in here. That's a that's a quote from Jurassic Park right there. No, it's actually a. You guys can't see it at all. But anyway, it's a custom Ford Maverick. So put that stuff back over here. We have, and this I bought earlier on a few years ago. 
an old fire truck. I like to collect these, the ones that actually are like really dope and everything. So I thought this was really cool, little fire truck. And over here, have another police car, a Ford Taurus police car. Pretty nice. And over here, my favorite, the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. What's under it? Another! Except this isn't a police interceptor. This is just a taxi. Which is what they're also known to be. Next, we got a Lotus. I'm pretty sure. Let me check. I think it's a Lotus. I swear, probably. Yeah, Lotus Esprit. That's what I thought. Or Esprit. What I thought it was. Lotus. Below that, we have a Pacifica. Isn't this Chrysler Pacifica? Yeah, Chrysler Pacifica. Off road dude there. And a drag Camaro. Pretty cool. Has the uh, little. I don't know if you. I think it's a Copo intake or a Yanko intake or something like that. I uh, forget. It's escaping me. It, there's a certain huge intake that they put on race cars that I'm just forgetting the name to right now. I know what it is. I just don't know it off the top of my head. And we have a boat. Police boat. Because why not? Because boat. Twin engine little boat there, bud. And last, well, second last on this side. Got a little Mini Cooper. Now the cool part is the body actually comes apart. Give me a second. I gotta detach this thing. I remember how. Give me a second. You're going in dark mode, you guys. I just gotta undo this. I can't with just one hand. I'm very bad at it. Oh, man. This is so bad. Oh, let me just... Come on back. Pop off. Come on. There we go. And there we go. We got the body of a Mini Cooper and the frame and engine and everything else of it. A little small thing in it. Just pops off. And then obviously. And there you go. Back on. And last on this side. With its sirens coming off, we have a, uh, whatchamacallit, a tooth, oh yeah, Subaru Dar WRX, non-SDI, a 2000 Subaru WRX, pretty nice. You know what's funny is, before I became more of a car person, I just had a bunch of Hot Wheels that look cool and stuff, and now that I'm realizing what they actually are, I realize that I actually do have a kind of cool collection. Not as good as the collectors. I have seen some collectors' collections in a whole. They have a lot. Super, come on, be nice. And now we go into this side. Put that back. Yeah, there is a lot. So I'm just going to kind of skim through on this side, uh, the cool stuff. This, which is like a jet car thing. It's like four engines on it. Let me just see what they call it. This is the, oh jeez, I can't even see that. I'm blind, not that blind. Oh jeez, that is really hard to see. It's called the Malaysia Speed. Probably because it was supposed to be built in Malaysia. I remember having this and thinking like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. So, now we're going to switch over here. I have a few of these types of things, like uh, motorcycles, both wheels turns, kind of cool. You know, just doing like a freaking wheelie because why not? Right. Got some off roaders exactly like this. You can afford off roaders. Doesn't even say. It just says rock shocker. And you got some of these. These are Jurassic Park and stuff. These are the safari cars that they got. A lot of those I have. And we have one of these. It's a little missile truck that I've had for a while. 
holds a car. It's an off-road car that can shoot missiles. And it also has, now that I'm realizing, freaking machine guns on the front. And them um, on the side. Let me see what it's actually called. It's called Stingrod. And also there's a saw blade on the back. You can kind of see that. Um, we got a Hummer here. We got a little boat car there. Uh, we have a uh, mummy car. Stego car. We have one of the uh, dinosaur car looking things. Velociraptor blue. Another armored truck. We have uh, like a crane thing that they had. Let me see. There's another thing down here. I need it. No, I don't. I do, but I don't. Got a little buggy that I think is adorable. A little dune buggy. We have another armored vehicle. They have a lot of armored vehicles, clearly. They have a little derby car. We have a few planes. Some of these I actually bought at like um, thrift stores and stuff. This one I definitely did. Cool airplane. I have a lot of airplanes in my collection. Another airplane that unfortunately lost its wheel. And yes, this one was also from not like Africa's Child or some of that. A little thrift store near me. Those are kind of like the same plane, just different, you know, styles. Anyway, moving on, we have an ambulance that you could see in Jurassic World movie. And down there we have an ATV and uh, another ATV. We have another, we have a SWAT truck. Just because SWAT truck, why not? And in here we have a big old actual, like, full truck. We have a little mini T-Rex. Um... Which I'm gonna call it monster truck. We have another one of those. We have a bike and the T Rex version of that. A Stego version. Have the little gyrosphere that actually rotates. Still works. They have like an old Jurassic World vehicle. I don't know why they have like an old one and like heavily armored ones. The jungle crawler. This does not seem like it would crawl in the jungle. I mean, the front end on this, this thing looks like it's, it was made from, like, a 1935, like, Ford. And they think they're rock crawling with that. Okay, bud. And you have this, which is the, uh, you know, thing from Jurassic World 2, Lost World. Little camper that they had in the RV. <laughs> Moving along. We have uh, a Lodgner, Lodgner, whatever, lum, lumber truck. A little Ford F-150, F-2, I don't know. F-something 50 is what I call it. We have another vehicle from um, Lost World. We have one of the Jurassic Park cars. Which one is this? This is 05. Oh my gosh, so much cooler. Than every other, just because. Is this an 05? I think it is. Yep. I'm just looking at all these. You know what's funny? Is this car right here? I actually lost this under my table for the law. I lost this under a table for like a year and a half. Didn't know where it went at all. I was like, I think I'm missing something for my collection. And sure enough, I was missing this. Because I was like, oh, I wonder what's under there. So I look under and I see something just, you know, sitting this under my table. And it was this thing. And I realized that as soon as I pulled it out, and I'm like, man, that has been a while. Got a Jeep Rubicon here. Digging this little thing. While I do that, there's a Mercedes 6x6 sitting there. <laughs> Paul Blart would be proud of this, honestly. A little, uh, little trot. Well, uh, it's not a trike, but technically it is because it technically only has like three spots for wheels. It's a little, little. Pol they call this police, but I would think that this is more freaking mall security type. And they say six by six, as I said. 
another military Hummer. Okay, come on. I need to get you out in order to get the Mercedes out. Hummer. A little uh, police truck there. Another Jurassic World Hummer. Uh, another carrier, and then you have some of that, and then you have another Jeep down there. Over here, you have, you know, this is obviously from the first dress. This is from Jurassic Park, obviously, but when they were, you know, picking up Ian. This is actually one from my dad's collection. This is an old school bus that he had. Matchbox series and not, and it's not a Y and something sixty eight Mercedes coach. There is no way this is from nineteen sixty eight. I mean, I could see that. If this is from nineteen sixty eight, man, this thing's been through war and back, especially being at my place. Another little, uh, the one car that the one guy got eaten in, forgot his name, he got a fire truck. So, that's what's in here. Obviously. I'm going to stand that back up. Yeah, that's all in there. Obviously, up there, you can kind of see that from the room tour and everything. But there's still another thing of cars. I could still go through. I could probably lay them all out on my entire bed. And there would still be way too many. My cat up there. My gray cat, Lucy. Just why not? But anyway. Oh, jeez. What did I do? I broke it. All right. There we go. I broke it for a second. I put half lock on. Anyway. Well, that was it for me today, so I hope you enjoy, and let me know if you want to see more of these, or if you want to see my entire collection laid out on my bed, which, looking at my bed, oh, that's going to that's gonna be a pain, is what it's going to be, a literal pain. So, anyway, yeah, see ya.